There is a phone in Wickenburg that will never ring. It is a payphone that requires no payment. No amount of change will ever make it work again, but people still come to the Hasayampa River Preserve to use it, to say what they need to get off their chest, to say what they waited too long to say. It has no dial tone because it is a wind phone. When you start dialing your person's phone number, there's something about hearing the dial turn back and putting yourself in that space where you can imagine them there and you're saying what you need to say. It's really powerful. When Amy Dawson lost her daughter to a terminal illness in 2020, she made her own wind phone. I needed some way to continue our bond and some way to continue our relationship. I had to keep being her mom. She was the young woman with special needs. Her phone was very important to her. Dawson created a website to track wind phone locations. There are four in Arizona, including the one in Wickenburg, which was placed here by park supervisor Chris Matthews. The idea is the brainchild of Ataro Sasaki, a Japanese man who put a phone booth in his garden in 2010 and opened it to the public the following year after a devastating tsunami killed more than 18,000 people. Since then, wind phones have appeared in gardens, parks, and other public places. Yesterday had a beautiful story from a woman whose um, baby died at one day old. And she said, I didn't think it was going to help me because, of course, my baby didn't have a, a phone, right? But she said just being able to kind of offload those feelings, that upset and that anger and that hurt and devastation I was feeling, put those words out there without putting them on her husband. Dawson has also heard from parents who lost their children to fentanyl. They're angry at their child for trying drugs or, or for doing the drug. They're angry at the drug person that provided the drug, angry at a lot of a lot of different places. And maybe it's not just one visit, but maybe it's a few phone calls. And finally, they work through those feelings by getting them out there and talking about it. Not all users are grieving the loss of a loved one. So there are a lot of people that go of loss of job, loss of a relationship. Uh, I've heard from someone that had a house foreclosed and they were angry and they just wanted to get it all out. So if you ever see a disconnected phone in the woods, know that it has a purpose. You always want to say it's not for everyone, but for who it's for, it's so powerful.